Hey guys, so today's video is on my top 10 favorite mascaras and I wanted to update this because I did it a few years ago. I don't know if you guys remember and um, yeah, I've got some new favorites now that I want to share with you since I've been wearing mascara a lot. Like, I, I, I wear it every day <laughs> to be honest. Like sometimes I'll go to bed with it and I'll just like add more in the morning and I really only like take it off like once or twice a week and then I'll just redo it. Like I pretty much wear mascara every day. I just love the way my eyes look with it and I haven't been wearing false eyelashes this entire year because I have found mascaras that have worked so good for me. I genuinely feel like I just don't, I don't need false lashes anymore. Like I'm in love with my lashes thanks to a lot of these mascaras. One of them is actually only $1. I'll save that one till the end because it's one of the best ones. And um, yeah, everything else is gonna be like found at Ulta and Sephora and stuff like that. If you guys like these videos, please give it a thumbs up because I would really like to do one on my eyeliner favorites, which I think are actually mostly drugstore. So if you wanna see that video, give this one a thumbs up so that I know. And if you have any other like top 10 videos that you'd like me to film, put it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. I don't wanna do a super long intro this time. We're just gonna. We're just gonna get into the into the stuff. All right, first up we have Lancome Hypnose Drama. This goes for $27.90, and all the prices that I found online are mostly Ulta and Sephora. Um, for like the drugstore mascaras, you can definitely get them cheaper at like Target and Walmart and stuff like that. So double check prices online if you guys are interested, and I'll have links down below also for everything. But yeah, this is definitely more on the pricier side for mascara, but I 100% think this one is worth it. Out of all the mascaras I'm showing you today, this is my most used, which is why I wanted to show it to you first. And I just love this formula so much. It's the kind of formula that you do not need to wear a primer underneath of it for your lashes to look awesome. Like a lot of mascaras, even the ones I'm showing you today, some just need a primer, you know? They just need that little extra oomph to make it work better. Um, but this one, no, you don't even. It's also incredibly easy to use because as you guys can see, it has like an S shape type brush and it's more on like the thinner side so if you have smaller eyes it is very very easy to work with it's got a very buildable volume so if you do want to do two coats of this or even three coats of this it will never look clumpy never notice any flaking it's really my favorite one so i would definitely recommend this to everyone and it's so funny when i was getting ready today i was doing my makeup i actually put on liquid like full coverage liquid foundation for the first time in forever and <laughs> I was looking through my makeup trying to uh, do my eyes and then um, I was like where's my where the heck is my mascara and then I realized I brought all my favorite mascaras in here to film this video but I just it was like a funny moment but it's not funny it's not funny as I retell it but like in the moment it was funny you know what I'm saying so I'm like where is my freaking mascara it's been like 10 minutes looking for it in my makeup bag and yeah. So next up we have the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This goes for $9.99, definitely one of the cheaper mascaras, and it is so good. I know a lot of you guys have used this in the past, like it's been around forever. Everybody knows and has used, I feel like, this mascara, but I, I think that it definitely deserves a mention in my video because the price is just so affordable and it really gets the job done. This is one of the mascaras I feel like has a more thinner formula, so it doesn't feel like it really weighs down your lashes like you can apply a lot of it and it'll just be that nice weightless feel but it'll still give them a good curl it also is very conditioning because it has rosehip oil in it so if you're trying to you know really grow your lashes this could possibly help and the fan brush is something i'm definitely a big fan of because it really separates out the lashes it has a bunch of tiny little like harder bristles sometimes with mascaras my my lashes will just come together and i'm like stop it <laughs> stop doing that so this really helps to like separate everything out from root to tip and yeah it's definitely a must-have for sure next is milk makeup kush mascara i forgot to write the um price of this bad boy down so i'm just gonna put it up here i love the packaging of this like this is definitely one of my favorite packaging it has like swirls all around like it feels really cool when you hold it it feels luxurious like thick Feel like you get a lot of mascara in here the only problem i have with this is when you pull it out so much comes out like this is globby so what i usually do is kind of wipe it off a little bit and the reason why is because it is formulated with fibers so you'll notice like some of the fibers get like stuck to the brush head and you just gotta kind of 
wipe it off a little bit but besides that definitely one of my favorite formulas with fibers in them um, basically the reason why you want to use a fiber mascara is because it really helps to give your lashes structure it gives them more volume it helps the mascara to last longer but sometimes with fiber mascaras what you'll find is throughout the day you'll have like little fibers on your face it's still it's still a big favorite of mine because it works so dang well it's just that i really truly feel like it needs a primer underneath it and the one that i use i'll link down below it's the lancome sills booster two other things it has plant derived oil which helps to condition the lash and it is also made with pigments that give a more darker look to your lashes so this really has so many pros <laughs> to it that outweigh the tiny little like cons that aren't really even cons they're not that bad um, so I would recommend this one if you like fiber mascaras this is the covergirl lash blast mascara another one that everyone is familiar with is super affordable only $9.99 and I feel like this one really packs a punch when it comes to volumizing the lashes. Like it makes them look so full all around from root to tip. It also is one of those formulas that just last all day. And this one in particular, it says active on it. So in my opinion, I just, I feel like if you wanna wear this through working out or if you just know that you're gonna be sweating and wearing it for a long period of time, it's not going to, um, mess up and smudge all over your face it also has a hypoallergenic formula which is great for sensitive eyes i i do have very sensitive eyes like any honestly so many things have caused sty eyes i've had like i used to get them like once a month <laughs> that's a huge thing that would happen to me all the time and i could never figure out exactly what it was that was causing it it was always something different I don't know but anyway if you have sensitive eyes totally try this out because i think you're gonna love it this is a new one for me like i i recently have just started using this the past week <laughs> but it really got me good like i f was obsessed with it very quickly um i have my first reaction it'll be on my instagram soon when i used it for a instagram tutorial for the very first time and it was funny because my reaction was actually not good i opened this up and i noticed that the mascara doesn't get all over the wand like there's places on the wand that's still just like i don't know maybe i just need to keep going no see every time there's places on the wand that the mascara doesn't attach to so i was like a little bit wary because of that um but what i found is that the formula is intense like it makes your lashes so black and dark but it gets goopy quickly so i'm actually happy that not too much comes out on the brush and that it actually doesn't attach to the brush head as much as it probably should um because it's a heavy heavy formula so you got to be really careful with this um it takes a while to apply and really separate out the lashes but once you like get it on there good you only need one coat it is another one of those mascaras that you really don't even need a primer like it will last forever 24 hours i've worn this for days and i've never had an issue with it uh, flaking or smearing smudging any of that it's kind of asymmetrical and it has tiny little bristles but yeah you got to be careful because every time you pull it out it has like a different amount of goopiness on it um, so you just got to wipe it wipe it a little bit but yeah if you're really into that bold lash look and you want them to be really defined where you can see like I use I use this today where you can see every single lash and it just looks so like visible because you know sometimes you apply mascara and it's just a little too light and maybe when you take pictures you can't really see your lashes that well this one gives that look where it looks like you have false eyelashes on it has it has a few little weird things about it it's a little freaky but it's worth it i don't know if i said the price but that was 25 dollars well, why are you hiding in the corner it must be like raining outside or something i don't hear it though what are you doing it's national dog day don't hide in the corner Next is the Revlon Volumizing Mascara. This is actually my favorite drugstore one I have ever used. It was in my last favorite like top 10 mascaras that I filmed years ago. It, it still is one that I just love the way it makes my lashes look and I will always buy it over and over again as long as they're selling it. It is cheap. I believe it is $8.99, so a little cheaper than um, on Ulta at least than the others that I've mentioned. Um, this one I think needs two to three coats. It's not like as dark and black as I want it to be on just one coat, so you do need a few more coats with this. But once you get your lashes all done up, it makes them look so good. So I think it's more of like a drier type formula. 
so you don't need to wait forever while you're applying coats just do one over here one over here and they can just go right back to doing your second coat or however many coats that you want to do it dries fast 24 hour wear clump free and yeah it's great for the price Next up is the Hourglass Extreme Lash Mascara. This is the second one I've gone through. I do love the packaging. It is so beautiful. Now, unfortunately, mine has been through a lot, so it's got a lot of scratches on it. Like, this is one that I will always throw into my purse so that I know I had a good mascara with me at all times, just in case, I don't know, something happened and I needed to do touch-ups. It goes for $29, and the reason why I loved it so much is because this is actually the driest formula I have ever used from a mascara and I love dry formulas and I'll tell you why because wet formulas will take forever to dry and your lashes just like don't stay straight up that well like it just it doesn't hold the curl as well the more wet the formula is but when it's drier it really makes the lashes like stiffen up you can easily build the layers and in my opinion I think that this mascara has it's it's like a three in one it gives you length it gives you volume it gives you drama it gives you everything that you want and pretty packaging it is also great for your lower lashes because it is such a dry formula so um you won't have any issues with smearing so this is the this is the honest beauty mascara and it goes for 16.99 at target definitely pricey for a drugstore mascara however it is a two-in-one it comes with a primer and a mascara which is nice um, because I do feel like this mascara works really well with this primer like hand in hand they are amazing together this is 100% a dupe for the hourglass one that I just showed you I'll show a comparison of the brush heads literally exactly the same and they both have that same drying formula so if you want to get a more affordable version of the hourglass one with a primer too definitely pick this up it's the same thing like all of the good things that i said about the hourglass one exactly the same for these i used to use this all the time on my lower lashes i haven't really done lower lash mascara lately um but when i used to um, when I would do really like dramatic eye looks, I would always use this every time. Unless I was using the hourglass one, I would just kind of like switch it up. <laughs> so then we have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It is like the number one selling mascara in America. Everybody buys this because there, um, there's a reason for it. It gives that bold, dramatic look quick. It goes for $26. I do love this brush head. I mean, I feel like it's definitely a little bit like bulky but it has that really cool unique hourglass shape to it because the stopper is so good it only allows the perfect amount of product to come out on the brush so that way you're not applying too much because it really is an intense formula it makes your lashes look full really dark and black it actually has polymers in it that help to lock the curl of your lashes in place it has peptides that help to condition your lashes and it's just a very reliable mascara like this is one that i will always throw into my makeup bag and even if you're like a makeup artist or you like to do makeup on other people this is a good one to try just on everyone in general it's just like that it's that mascara that just works on everybody i cannot get this one back in here because I've used it so much that I think I kind of broke the tip a little bit, so it's kind of flimsy. This is only one dollar. I had did a video for Shop Miss A, because it's from um, AOA Studio. I did a video for them a while back, and out of all the products I used, this is the one that was my favorite. And ever since that video, I kid you not, I have used this every week at least four to five times. I use it as a finisher, so I don't use it on its own. It's something that I use, it's like a topper for my lashes to really give them that like ultimate defined look. The formula is kind of weird. It's like very plasticky, um, but it helps the lashes stay like so stable. They'll stay straight up. It, it almost works like glue. <laughs> I, I can't, if you've used this, then you know what I'm talking about. I actually looked online today because uh, first of all, I was shocked it was $1 because I forgot about that. But also, I looked at the reviews. There's 150 reviews and it has five out of five stars. And there's definitely, there's a reason for that. And I feel like this is a mascara that not a lot of people know about and should know about. Um, so if you're the kind of person that wants really defined lashes, but you don't want them too volumized, you know, you just want long, dark, um, <laughs> long, dark lashes, use like one of your favorite mascaras first as a, as like a one coat and then put this on as a top coat. It is just like, 
it is game changing for your lashes. So everything that I talk about is going to be down below, guys. I'm going to edit this and try and get it up as soon as possible. I would really like to start uploading three times a week. I don't, I'm not going to promise that because I don't know if I'll really be able to with classes. Um, since I'm taking four right now, it is a fall semester, so it's nice and spread out. I've got months to you know study and work on assignments and things like that. Um, it's just that I, I haven't been in school in a long time, so I don't know in comparison to my summer classes really how much I'm going to be able to work. So far with this first week, I feel like I've had a lot of time, but all my teachers have been just going over the syllabus right now. <laughs> so I'm taking full advantage of that. Let me know what you guys want to see from me on this channel. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. If any of you went back to school, I wish you luck. I hope you pass all your classes. That's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one.